Now that's an easy shape, don't you think? Give me something a little bit tough. Let's do a, um, a larger. Well, I wasn't going to have you do trapezoid just yet. I, I was actually going to do just a, you know, standard. Just tell me how many sides of a polygon you want, and I'll do it for you. What's that? Okay. 18. All right, let's go for let's go for the go for the gusto. We are going to begin the fill. I want to begin the fill. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't forget to end it. For I in range C, you thought I was going to have to work. Forget 18. Let's do a 17-sided polygon. I want to live dangerously. All right. Now, we're going to have a problem, and you're going to see it in just a moment. But if I just show you right now, I want, to, I want you to see it go bad. When pens go bad. So pen do, pen 2.bk for backwards, or we could write back, or we could write backwards. I'm going to do bk because now I'm getting lazy. I'm going to go backwards, I don't know, 45. Okay. Now... Pen to, this will be interesting. I've never done it where I ran it backwards. This could cause problems. So kids, don't attempt to try this at home until I've figured out this works. Uh, let's turn left. There we go. Now, if I do 360 divided by 17, I am most likely going to be having a problem. Let's see the problem first, and then we'll fix it next. Pen two dot and fill. So this will be our seventeen sided polygon. Okay? Yeah? Let's try it. Now I didn't move it after I did it, so let's see what happens. Oh, actually not bad. Uh, one thing you may want to do to ensure safety is 360.0 divided by 17. That will give you uh, a floating point number. It will be more precise, and it will be guaranteed to get you to the end. So let's try it now. And the reason why I did that, actually, if we don't do the fill, I'll show you that in a moment. Let's see if it, it shouldn't give us trouble. Yeah, it, it likes it. It's okay. Um, let's do it without a fill. Now watch this. Sometimes programmers will comment out regions. So to comment out a region, you just put that hashtag, you do that uh, pound sign, shift three. And we, we're just going to basically comment that out because I want to show you what happens um, when we do it this way. Let's go ahead and run it. It shouldn't finish the shape exactly. It should be off by a little bit. Yeah, it's, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it actually didn't end up exactly where it started. In fact, I'm going to move it just so you can tell. Pen, oops. Pen to dot up. Pen to dot go to. And let's give it a negative uh, 100, uh, negative 250. And then pen to dot down. So I want to get to an area that doesn't have stuff in it. So here's the code of what we're working on. We've got it commented out the 17 sided. Uh, I mean, we have it commented out the begin and end fill because I want you to see what happens when you give it a whole number um, and, and you're doing integer division. Um, it will round down or truncate. So just watch how it doesn't meet at the end. Now, you can't see it because that little triangle there. Let's try it with the seven-sided instead. I think it'll, it'll be more obvious on a seven-sided dice, or dice, shape. No, you still can't even tell it.
Well, I'm really trying hard. Wait, 9 is probably not the one we want to do, is it? Let's do 11. 11 sided. Now I'm just, you know, getting wacky. There we go. See that? 11 sided doesn't mean at the end. That's what I wanted to show you. So let's just put a 360.0 and see if it does a better job. It should. Yeah, so there you go. There's your shape. So now you've learned that you can do all kinds of polygons with any number of sides that you want. You can make it 111 sided if that's what you wanted to do. It's your choice. Okay? Just make sure you match this number with what you're dividing 360 by and add that point zero. The other thing hopefully you've learned is that if your shape is not completely drawn, you can still fill it with the color. And there's our 17-sided, actually 11-sided polygon now. Now my comet reflects the actual shape, and it will be filled with the color. So let's just do that one last time. And you've got all kinds of tools to make any number of pictures. There you go. And that's all I have to say about that.